picked it up. Look at these sand worms. Nice fish. All right. All right, guys, so yesterday's trip was bunk. I got crappy sliders, but you can't have any. Yeah, can I <laughs> have some you can have some crappy sliders. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so we're at our fourth spot, and uh, so far, still, Nate's on the board, and uh, nothing else, huh? Nobody else, but we, we fished freaking hard, and uh, yeah. So, we're here with Dylan. What's up? up? We're here with Martin and Ray. How's it going, guys? Yeah. So, uh, it's 4th of July. And, July. yeah. America. <laughs> That's right. Now, we're really blessed to be here. And, uh, uh, let's see. Eh. Challenge, no challenge, whatever. Yeah, huh? Eyeball <laughs> challenge. Remake? I always, I always lose, so you guys yeah. have to worry. What yeah. should we, basically, what should we make Dylan do? Yeah, what, it's, it's, what, what should I do? <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised you Yeah, one of these days. Um, no, no challenge today. It's just going to be an awesome, good time. We got to redeem from yesterday's trip. Yesterday's trip for the halibut didn't really work well, but yeah, we'll catch you guys on the beach. It's going to be sick. Here's the game plan. Get used to throwing the bucktail for a while. And uh, if we don't get action on it, uh, we'll switch to the Lucky Craft. The other guys are throwing Lucky Craft. So if they start hooking up on the Lucky Craft, sure, we will switch. And then if that doesn't work, the plan C is gonna be throwing a Carolina rig with a paddle tail swim bait. So, Wish us luck. Already found a spot. Already found a spot. All right, let's just, let's get a line wet. Just to see. Got my backpack on still. We haven't really pinpointed a location, but I can't help it. Gotta, gotta get a line wet. It's the only way you can catch fish is if your line is in the water. So we'll see. All right, enough messing around. I think it's just time to get on the board. That's that's what needs to happen right now. We're just gonna get on the board right, right quick. Tie on a Carolina rig, let's go. Before we jump into this video, don't forget Tuesday, July 16th, we will be having our first ever hook to cook meat and fish, and it's going to be at Guadalupe Beach, California at 7 a.m. If you have any questions at all, leave them in the comments below. You're more than welcome to come. Now, back to the video. All right, you guys know I rarely, rarely do this, but let's do it today. Today is the crappie sliders lucky day. Amazon, this is a number four hook, straight shank bait holder. So on these baits, you'll clearly see a seam on them where the mold was and you can actually follow that just to make sure that your bait is on straight. These have no problem staying on because they're just regular, regular plastic. You don't need super glue or anything, but that's what it should look like. Got one. Not a big one. <laughs> Little tiny guy. So this bait swims kind of upside down because of the hook weight. 
and it, very often you get them in the bottom jaw. Pretty cool. Let's get a release. Just a slow constant retrieve back. That's all you need to do. But really stay in contact with your bait. Make sure it's working right because this thing does have swimming action. It's not just a bait that sits there and gets bit. This looks, yeah. Yep. Hells yeah. Oh, got one on a sandworm. Heck yeah. So when we were walking to this next spot, my boy Ray picked up a, a sandworm that he found while these people were digging it up. And uh, looks like I was able to get myself a keeper. Oh, on the sandworm, on the sandworm. And I'm actually using a six pound test leader just so that I can make sure that I got some natural flowage. All right, guys. Nice fish. Very nice fish. Don't snap. Whoa. Six pound test, dude, on the sandworm. <laughs> That was freaking awesome. Got him. I'm gonna keep this guy. Beautiful. On the sandworm. Heck yeah. That's a good one. First, first keeper of the day. And I actually have some sand crabs, a couple of soft shell. So that'd be cool to catch something on a soft shell sand crab. I got a one ounce weight, actually a three quarter ounce weight on this, so it'll be a challenge keeping it on the bottom. Soft shell sand crab going on next. You want the hook to come out the belly right there, just like that, because a lot of times they try to just hit the eggs. All right, guys, so the tide is starting to come in and we were basically fishing almost a negative tide. And now everything's starting to come back, so which is good. And we've been able to see what the terrain looks like as it fills up. So we're switching to strictly perch right now. And we might have found a really good spot, so stay tuned. All right, guys, quick update. We fished this spot. Earlier, I was casting the bucktail. I got a bump which is amazing and since the perch bite died a little bit i might as well just go big and then go home <laughs> go big and go home so let's do that take off the backpack get more mobile throw on a three quarter ounce bucktail i think that could be the ticket all right so we put the carolina rig away and we're gonna tie this baby on chartreuse because the water is a little dingy. If it was a lot clearer, I'd go for a more natural presentation, but we want, we want visibility. That looks good. It's a really finesse technique. I mean, when you're throwing big plugs, lures, it, you know, it's odds are pretty good. I mean, it looks natural, but throwing a bucktail is really nice because it has that secondary action with the hairs. So I'm feeling really, really good about this. Really good. Especially again, since the water's a little dingy, if they see that bright chartreuse and that small profile, it's pretty awesome. And you have control over the strike zone in terms of depth. When you slow it down, it'll sink a little bit more. So pretty excited about this technique, guys. Let's see if it'll pay off today. I'm just letting it pulse. Every time I reel in, I'll, I'll give it one little pulse.
there's got to be a better hole somewhere the tide's coming up i think we'll i think we'll find something right now all right i'm back to carolina rig let's see what geo's doing finally <laughs> oh got him what's up ed how are you guys doing <laughs> i know and this is ray how you nice to meet you hey. Dude, how's it going oh yeah, we're using the orange oh we did got some this morning yeah yeah that's all i that's all i caught him on i we found some somebody left a couple and uh we ended up catching some yeah, my dad's been tapping them but they're not biting mine oh <laughs> no i've been skunked like a couple of weeks ago like uh -huh. we like we went to avila we went to Oceano, big ass pub dang man yeah. it happens man i know we were we went to santa barbara yesterday and Nothing, dude. Yeah. <laughs> That's Ed. Ah, oh, dude. I, I got, I got yeah, I'll take one. I'll take one. Oh, shoot. You got a lot? Yeah. Oh, my God. Dude, bro. Oh, come yeah, here. Yeah, Thank you. Awesome. Yeah, no problem. That's dude. freaking awesome. Yeah. All right, let's see. What can I put these in? Look at this, guys. Ed just hooked it up. <laughs> We're going to use some some sand live sandworm right now here we go it's good we're just gonna we're gonna get them it's gonna be a lot of fish right now Looked it up look at these sandworms that's awesome thank you again ed thank you thank you gosh i'm i am blessed right now that is amazing amazing Hey, thank you again. I owe you one, man. Hey, no problem. That means a lot. Yeah, that's all. Well, now, now we're actually going to catch some. <laughs> yeah, really. Jeez. You think he's using sandworm too? Yeah, all the all the baby that I was here this morning. Yeah. Everyone was digging. I bro. saw all those holes. Yeah. A lot of holes everywhere. Okay. Yeah. All right, sandworm time. Thanks again, Ed, hooking it up generously. I'm like benefiting from the fruit of his labor. So let's use the tail first. Keep it alive. So that's what the gulp sandworms are supposed to imitate. Right there. Just break her in half. Thread it on. That's freaking awesome. All right. Let's get this sandworm out there. Getting a bite, getting a bite. Biting, getting bite. Eat it. I think I got him. No. Came off. Bite. There's small ones on it. Oh, it's a tiny guy. No wonder. Look at this small thing. Woohoo! <laughs> All right, first one on the actual sandworm. He's a good five inches. All right, buddy, grow up. See sandworm on there. Let's go. They're not very far. I'm already getting bit. Eat it. Got him. Another small one, maybe? I think 
Yeah, another small one. Another little guy. Oh my gosh, that's striper food. He came off. We need a big one. So yeah, during low tide, you can just dig these guys up. Thank you again, Ed, hooking it up. With these, it doesn't take long for them to bite at all. Oh, got one. It's a good one. It's a better one. Eh, he's still small though. He's better, but still small. <laughs> wow. King of the dinks, right now. Dude, this is definitely striper food. Big enough striper will devour little guys like that. Jeez, wow. That's gonna be a fish right there, soon too. Got one. There's a bunch of small ones here. I think I'm gonna move. Definitely gonna move, but cool to see how effective these sandworms can be. <laughs> Catching these tiny little guys whose eyes are bigger than their stomach, but that'll help them grow fast, having all these sandworms around. Good. Small guy. Small ones, I'm biting at it. Got a tiny one. Story of your life when you're using live bait, <laughs> apparently. Jeez. little guy oh well actually he's getting heavier <laughs> he's actually bigger than I thought he was <laughs> oh my god look at this guy Woo. got him what <laughs> yeah perch magnets but where's your mama at where's your mama Marty bit. Oh, okay. Yeah, he's pretty close. Oh, he's he's getting heavier as he goes. I just gotta remember I have six pound test. Oh no. <laughs> Woohoo! It's a beast. It felt good for a little bit. That's what happens. I might be able to salvage this bait though. Months. Oh, that's a good one. Ray's got one. We just put a little little sandworm on there. Oh, that is a decent one. We're just putting some live bait on and getting some live action. Oh yeah. Beautiful. Sick. More striper bait. Oh yeah. I'm gonna throw on the Lucky Craft. You want these? I'm done. I'm done using live bait. There's still some bait in there. Thank you. Yeah. I'm going Lucky Craft. Yeah, those small ones, it's fun. Fun to get some action, but the guy next to us caught a couple big ones, so that leads me to believe they are in the area. And if they're in the area and they see my bait swim right in front of their face, don't tell me they would not eat it. 
they would eat it. So let's throw a Lucky Craft. And then of course, as a side note, if there's Striper in the area, they might want to bite too. Cool! <laughs> oh, Martin's got one. Close? Did they hit close or far? This is the bite we want. We want Lucky Craft bites. I hope it's not a fluke that he caught some. Huh? Two, uh, two on the Lucky Craft. Uh, zebra. Damn, Martin's on a roll. Another one? Martin's got another one. He's killing it. Nice. Oh, monster. There you go. Oh, that's a solid fish, bro. Yeah. Middle trouble. What's this one called? The Zebra Cran Shad. Cran Shad? Uh, yeah, 110. Dude, epic. I Got the that, middle uh, treble too. Yeah, I love that uh, that purple glare, that purple shine in the middle of the green, green back. Alright, Ray got on one. Oh, dude. That is... Squeeze these babies out. That's deep. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna have to keep her up. Yeah. Clipped her gill. Nice fish though. I feel like I lost my lucky craft touch. <laughs> oh man. Not bad? Huh? Do I have an extra bag? No. What the heck? <laughs> I don't have anything. I'm not throwing it in my bag like that, hell no. <laughs> <laughs> that is savage. Like, uh, I have a uh, yeah. Alright, yeah. Dude, you should have said something while I was <laughs> I know! I didn't know. <laughs> Kill I didn't know what you were doing. I'm like, <laughs> what we were running just through the gills. So look, look at his rig right here. <laughs> And Dylan watched him uh, and had the, had the I trash. Was confused. I didn't know what he was doing. <laughs> He's maybe he just likes doing that. Thing. He just likes keeping it like that. This is the official the homemade uh, stringer. Stringer. With a nail clipper the attached. Stringer. Hopefully they get this. Multi-use, multi-purpose. Multi <laughs> you can cut your toenails too. If you, yeah. If you tie it off. <laughs> you can buy your hooks. Whoa, what is that? How does that even happen? Oh yeah, somebody. Somebody had to have thrown him back. Someone freaking. A fresh one too. Somebody killed it and threw it, threw it back. And he just happened to snag it. <laughs> Somebody just caught it and let it go, probably. Threw it back. He should walk up and be like, hey, is this your fish? Damn. Straight ripped out its gills, bro. Right. Probably just to get the hook. Somebody probably deep hooked it and then ripped out the gill to free the hook. It's messed up. Wow. Somebody threw this one back. What's up, dude? Hey. You got your limit early or what? Yeah, I have to wait for him though. <laughs> and I can fish, really. Why? I get in trouble, man. How many did you get? Ten. Ten? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Same throwing the grub? Yeah. Yeah, you can leave it out too, so. I have All to right. wait and sit down, man. Oh, come on, hurry up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, they got a couple on the Lucky Craft. I I didn't get any on the Lucky Craft. I got mine on a on a live uh, live sandworm. Sandworm? Yeah. yeah. Is this big? The, uh, Ed. Ed, they uh, dug for sandworm and he gave me some. He gave me a lot. I know. Yeah. Everybody's clocking out. That's what Ray said. <laughs> We're done. We're done for the day. 
we put in our time, our work. Look at all the gear that everyone brings too. That's, that's life right there. That was my dad a few years ago. Well, not a few years ago, maybe a decade or so ago. Bringing the sand crab rake, just hiking in all your gear. And Martin's still fishing. I wish I caught one on a Lucky Craft, but I don't know what it is. I haven't, I haven't re-upped and bought any new Lucky Crafts. That lady just got one. Hi. How are you? I'm good. Go fishing? Yeah. No, good to oh, see you. You're doing you good. Yeah. Ayun, look at that. Okay. There you go. What did you use? Oh, sandworm. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, we caught a couple. Yeah, we're just using lures like that. Yeah. Fishing, yeah. All the time. Oh yeah, that's yeah. why I saw you in the th in the Facebook. On Facebook and yeah. YouTube, yeah. All the time we're fishing, yeah. Oh. Well, it's yeah. good seeing you at the Gloria. Oh, okay. All right, I'll tell Fabian we said we saw you. Uh, oh yeah. Uh, yeah. All right. Okay. Bye. I'm getting no love. Not even on the grub. No way. On the Lucky Craft. That's a good one, dog. Dang it. I say we're gonna go, and then you have to go and catch one, don't you? Questionable PB right here. Questionable PB? Awesome. Really? That's freaking awesome, dude. Dang, bro. Solid fish. Hell yeah. Dude, so your personal best right now, huh? Yeah. Ray got his personal best. Beautiful. Man, there you go. What was your previous personal best? 14 and a half. Okay. Beat it by half an inch. Hey, close to right there in drum roll. Yep. It's kind of sad, but leaving during high tide, it's 4th of July, and uh, hope you guys have a, or had, because I'm not going to drop this until probably the 8th or something. But I hope you guys had a nice, safe one. Appreciate you guys. Uh, yeah, we have some plans tonight, so I need to get home. All right, Martin. We'll catch you later, brother. I'm heading out. Oh, you're heading out too? All right, well, we'll walk together. Okay. Ended up with four fish. Yeah. And one's his personal best at 15 inches. 15. Heck Could've yeah. Just to double check, but it's definitely over 14 and a half my previous. Oh yeah, dude. Not a bad day, rough, slow. Caught you by surprise. Yeah, it was kind of slow today for sure. But Geo still got his limit, so no excuses. We just weren't throwing the Carolina rig yeah. as much as he is. Yeah, he is a magician. He knows this water like the back of his hand. I probably come out here maybe five times a year and it always changes. And then today uh, we did face uh, low tide right at the beginning of the day. Right now it's getting high tide, but Right now we gotta go. It's not even high tide, it's like an hour until high tide. So this is literally the time you wanna come out, but you know, since we have activities planned for later, we had to go in the morning, but we at least got our lines wet. That was nice. And caught a bunch of fish on live, live uh, sandworms. Can't get any better than live. So that was pretty good. Appreciate you guys once again. We'll catch you on the next one.